Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting room to episode 6 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, animation, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, and I shouldn't even be tired. I got enough sleep, but still, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of course you would wake your fucking ass up. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. I can't wear him. Ronto, what the fuck? Only Ronto would think that an embracing, hugging moment would turn into something like, uh, uh. Be like, ah, uh, what did you do? I need to know. Be like, give me all the motherfucking details. <laughs> mm, stupid freaking thing. Just stay there. Do not pull out. My God. Mm. I shouldn't have left my door open. It's hot, and I don't want to get up. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> hi, Cody. What's up? You want to say hi to everybody? Is that what, what, you, what you hear? Is this my intention? I better not do this when I watch my birthday. Yeah, that's it. God, it was lame. It, it was, but uh, no, no, no! Oh my God, sit. Well, Ranta hasn't been friendly with her. That that is true. Yeah, you just need to get to know her a little bit more. Okay. Since you guys can't really afford cousins. There's always that one guy. One guy. <laughs> but she doesn't seem all that bad. I like her. Okay, go play. 
Well, hey, at least you said good morning. <laughs> well, what kind of a damn? She did not just say, I don't know. Girl. <laughs> I know, that's like a baby cut. It's okay. See, at first I thought he got him in the lower back, but no. Nah. Still, I felt that. Yeah. I know. Here is a major. It's going to heal on its own naturally. Uh, see, I kind of figured that Mondo was a perfectionist, but like, I just. Mm. Well, maybe she just doesn't want to talk about it, and you have to accept the fact. Yeah. And if she leaves, then you guys are just screwed. I don't think you'll have an answer to the way to communicate with her. I mean, she is stubborn. Like I said, she is very similar to um, Raina from Sound Euphorium, but that's just the way she is. <laughs> I 
figure this out with them. Of course not. Wouldn't be caught dead being over there with them, right? True. I mean, you could have, like, if you didn't say hi, you could have at least waved. You know, not only a flat chested girl could say that, but a big chested girl could also say that as well. Just normal size. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I think she would keep it. Do I ever read it though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you want Rotten or what your fist do it? No. You want me to cry, don't you? Don't you? You don't have to be like him. Just be yourself. I wish I would have fucking told me I needed the tissues to be in this fucking episode. Mm -hmm. And besides, you've already shown that you have really good leadership. I mean, how you've done certain things. Plus, to the fact is, you know, him not accepting that money. That was a very big thing for a leader to do. I mean, because if it was Ronda, Ronda was like, hell yeah, let me take the damn money. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, the only other thing I can say is either get to know her or don't. Remember, we're trying not to happen, have the same thing happen with Monito, with one of you.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there she goes on her own. Maybe she's just not hungry right now. She just, to me, she has this wall built up. And it's still up, even though, like, slowly but surely, you know, it's getting chipped away yet. And she's just gonna, I don't know. Like, everything about her. Why is she so hard-headed and stubborn? Okay, then. Why did you guys split up? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Bonne journée, Pa. Killed your comrades, didn't it? But you did. I wasn't expecting that, but damn. I just gotta say this. Yes, like, they both groups, well, one, no, typically it's really both groups, have experienced her. And, as I said, she has that wall. How can she? I don't know. My heart just hurts for her. I'm still for them with Monaco. But, I don't know. I honestly don't really know. Just I, I was not expecting that to happen with her and be like, okay, this is the story of her and her group and what happened to her group, basically. Out of the five, three died and only two survived. And in a way, like I said, she's had this wall up ever since because she, in a way, she blames herself. And of course, like this, the same thing, you know, everyone else was thinking when Manato died, especially like Haru and Yumi, Yume, because of the fact is seeing when you see someone die, whether it's a person, an animal, whatever, you are going to blame yourself. I still, to this day, blame myself about my previous two dogs passing away because if I had done something, then they possibly would have been alive for maybe a year or two and then I would have been able to say goodbye. But um, sometimes you just have to say it's not your fault and that everything happens for a reason. So there are days where like I say that. And I still end up crying for some more reason because I still do believe, yes, it is my fault. But it, I don't know. I, I really like the fact that in the backstory of it, we got to see her smile. But at the same time, I just want her to smile again. She's she's just really pretty. She's cute. But she has that. She's, I don't want to say she's a Cinderella, but in a way she is. Like how she's acting with the role. And I really thought that, you know, when he was, when Hadu was like, hey, we're going to go get something to eat. You want to come with us? I really thought she was going to say yes. But just to now know the reason why she is the way she is, it's, you just can't help but feel sorry for her because they're also in that same predicament with Monato. And it's just, we're all trying to, this group and plus Mary, we're trying to prevent something not to happen again because I can't imagine if somebody else in this group died again to not have only not one but two but three people in her previous group died she is very more um protective of this group in a way how when she healed do but she didn't heal Ronta because that was more of a baby cut yes I mean but like if we're gonna talk about something if like somebody you know cut their thigh open like the, the woman who freaking got splashed up by a damn jaguar or a panther or what I think it was a jaguar or a lion because she decided to go in the freaking pen in the zoo and take a freaking selfie with it 
And she deserved what she got because you shouldn't even go in there. I'm just saying. If it was something like that or like on the thigh really bad to the point where it is a lot of fucking blood and the person is bleeding a lot, yes. But if it's some little teeny tiny ass cut on the palm, hand, back of the hand, arm, whatever, face, leg, I don't know, chest, stomach, let it heal. I don't know. I, like, I still don't know what to think about Ronzo. Like, I, I love him, but then at the same time, I hate him because he just, he has this arrogant attitude. And that's the biggest thing that I hate about him. He reminds me of some guys that I used to hate and literally get on my nerves and sometimes that I wanted to punch. So honestly, yes, I would love to punch the crap out of Ranta, but there's a reason why he acts the way he acts. And I'm guessing um, either the manga or light novel for this series might go a little more in depth. It's not only the fact of the Monoto situation. There's got to be something else with him. And with the fact is that I now only really have probably about like six more episodes left before I'm done with this show uh, completely. I don't think they're going to go more in depth on his past. We're just really going to focus on a little bit more, one more episode of Mary and then um, everyone coming together and kind of finally working together as a team, not to the point where it's like Mary's just watching and everyone else is doing and she heals whenever she feels like it. Mary is actually kicking butt, but it might take a little while longer because she still has a lot of guilt inside of her. And as I said, yes, She's got that wall up. It's slowly but surely being chipped away because Haru and the rest of the group is trying to become friends with her, but it's going to take time. That's all I can really say for her. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Grim Gara Fantasy and Ash. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday for the Patreons and next Tuesday for episode 7. Bye guys!